Well guys, welcome back to the shop. I'm Chris with M7 Metalworks. I've got a, uh, another vise in the shop today. I've got several still kind of in waiting for um, restoration. Um, this one is a nice one. This is a Charles Parker 974 is the model number. I bought it for $50 um, from a guy on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, essentially went there to find one vise and ended up buying three vices from him. All really good deals in my opinion. This one here, I mean, I think it looks worse than it probably is, mainly because it's got like multiple paint jobs on it. I mean, it's even got some purple in here. I'll run you around real quick. We'll get right into this video. <clears throat> so you can see guys, it's got lots and lots of paint on there. You can see these jaws. Got some grind marks on the top of them, but again, I think when I grind that down to make it flush with this one, it should work out pretty good. I won't get too carried away with some of these dings and dents and grind marks on the back. My paint will cover a lot of that kind of stuff. I don't, I don't see a screw in here. So I should have one in there. Did come with the number two wrench. So that's pretty cool.
Well, we got our complete, guys. I uh, think it looks beautiful. I think you'll agree. I'll take you in for a close-up, as I always do at the end, a little gratuitous video of the vice uh, at the restoration. Now, this one's got lots of character marks, okay? Uh, particularly on this slide back here. Um, nothing major, just lots of little, little dings. I mean, I don't know what they did back there, but um, they did quite a bit. The jaws turned out pretty good. If you recall, I had to put uh, do a little bit of welding on those. And, and that was just because there was a little bit of grind marks on, in a few places. Um, so you'll see a, a, a spot, um, a couple spots on these jaws that I didn't weld up. And the reason for that is because they're located right over the pins. These are pinned on jaws. And so I didn't bother um, putting a weld on that, obviously. But um, plenty of life left in the jaws. The vise works beautifully. Uh, Acme, it's got the Acme lead screw, and so uh, I just I didn't see any noticeable wear at all. The um, wrench turned out beautiful. Everything works really well. Of course, if you know anything about these Charles Parker vices, uh, the brakes on these work fantastic. So to to prevent it from rotating, you just turn your I know you can't see what I'm doing right now, but you just turn your wrench and there's your wrench right here. And uh, that will lock it up and it locks it up tight. I mean, I know I haven't got this bolted down, but trust me, if this is bolted to the um, bench top, this thing just bites, it's, it's crazy. It causes it to expand in there and just makes that just impossible to turn. So really, really good system. Um, probably more expensive to do something like that. That's probably why they don't do it today. Um, I've got a couple things that I'll probably end up replacing. I went ahead and made a little set screw in here. In this, the way Parker did their, or at least many of their vices, is on their handles, they, they had a um, piece of brass in here and then a spring and then a little set screw and that would put tension on that and then you could loosen it or tighten it however you wanted and it would allow you to be able to dictate where your handle was at and so it's actually a pretty nice feature and one that i would uh, use and i do use um, periodically on some of my vices the charles parker vices but i'll probably end up purchasing a new set screw this is something i made with just a, a small bolt it's a um, 5 16 by 18 thread, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong on that, so don't quote me on that, but I think that's what it was. And it could be that, that this one was 5 16 by 18. I don't remember now. Anyways, uh, I'm probably going to replace that set screw. It'll probably be like a more modern Allen head screw. Um, and it might, I might get stainless on that. It, I, I like stainless. They don't rust. And then uh, it's probably the same thing with this. I'll probably get... A, um, a new screw for this probably go with stainless and I'll probably stay with um, slotted if, if I can get stainless slotted that's probably what I'll do and I'm sure I probably can so anyways uh, this is a Charles Parker 974 it has on the side here Charles Parker Company Meriden Connecticut USA and on the other side it says patented 1930 number 974 so the 97 is the series of the vice. The four is that it's a four inch vice. It's four inches across the width here. So I'll bring you in now and just do some gratuitous video. Guys, if you like this video, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, um, comment as you like. Uh, again, don't beat me up too bad on this. Um, I like the character. I like to keep the, um, the vice is pretty original when it comes to not getting too crazy. You know, I could grind this slide and make it all silvery and take out all these little nicks, but then that thing is gonna be so sloppy in there, it's just not gonna function as well. These little dings and dents, they don't do anything as far as take away from the functionality and the quality of the vice. The vice still is super precise. I mean, it's ridiculous. This thing is, I, I had a uh, date stamp on the inside of this. I, I think it's a date stamp. I have patent pending, patent pending, uh, or patent, sorry, I have a patent 1930 on the side here, and inside here it said um, 39. So I'm gonna guess this was probably made in 1939. 
that's probably accurate, but I don't know that for sure. So um, I'm not a vice expert in that regard, not a historian by any means. I love them. I love the old vices. I coated the uh, handle and a few other parts like the wrench and the lead screw or the, the screw here um, with a boiled linseed oil. So I just warmed those up and, and did that. And then just a light coat of oil on all the bare metal. So. I used a hammer, hammered copper paint. And I kind of like it. 